Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sim Bungie. I have got five cent coins to go through today. I noodled through a hundred dollars worth of five cent coins, so that's two thousand coins. And I've got some pretty good stuff here to show you, so yeah, I'm really excited about the five cent coin noodling that's going on. Or not going on, actually, is probably... <laughs> no one's noodling the fives because they're small and they're fiddly, they're time-consuming, and there are very few commemorative coins within the five-cent coin. Like, there's no commemoratives. There's... We've got the decimal currency changeover obverse, and unless you're finding something that's not intended for circulation such as a five cent coin from one of the baby sets. Yeah, you're just looking at a kidna after a kidna. So it takes a long time. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't recommend five cent coins for anyone starting out. If you're trying to get your kids into noodling, you will probably bore them to death and uh, turn them off noodling if you give them fives. But what I've found in the $100 of five cent coins that I went through was worth my time of doing it I feel it was so you can come along and have a look at what I've found and you can make up your own mind so boring noodling no commemoratives nothing stands out you just sort of got to make your own piles and work out what you're going to do with what you find this pile over here is my Twenty twenties. Got heaps of them. <laughs> I've got so many twenty twenties. Um, how many have I got? I did count them. I've written it down here somewhere. Seventy nine. Yeah, I've got seventy nine of those. So normally I put my coins in a pile in lots of five, so it's easy for me to point out that that's five, ten, twenty, but. I haven't bothered today. Um, they're just in piles. So that's 79 20, 20 five cent coins. I'm probably not going to keep them. I've kept them just for the purpose of down the track. I might look through and see if there's any errors. Yeah. And look, I'll wait till the mintage result and see if they're going to be rare. But I'd say they're not going to be that rare um i did a bit of number crunching so i suppose i'm getting our uh, i've got three uh, two thousand coins and 79 of those of 2020 works out to about 3.95 percent so one in 25 coins that i'm pulling out uh one in 25 is going to be a 2020, but that's from an unsorted bag. So that might just be all the new stuff that's going back in. But that's what I'm finding. Lots of stuff that I don't really want to keep, but I'll keep until I find out the mintage figures. So anyone who's interested in that, what else did I find? Uh, on the back row here, I've got coins that I'm keeping for the purpose of looking for varieties. I haven't looked through them yet, but... This was something else that I found was interesting for stats, probably. So the 91 and the 92, the 93 and the 94. So these, these three piles here are 94s, 1994, five cent coins. They all have a variety with the large SD and the small SD. And the large SD is the one to get. And the SD referring to the designer's initial at the bottom of the echidna there mm, yep under the five there is a very bottom of the five there is the designer's initials of sd for stuart devlin so I'm going to look through these piles and see if I can find the large SD variety. 
The mintage on these was uh, the 1991, 29.9 .9 million, so nearly 30 million. 92, 52.6 million. The 93, 93.8 million. The 94, which is the one that I've got three piles of here, 146.7 million. And I think the ratios that I've got here are about right for what I... So that's all my 94s. Push them back this way so you can see. 94s, 93s, 92s, and 91s. So I had 5 91s, 13 92s, 18 93s, and 55 94s, which seems a little bit, yeah, the ratios are about right. I probably would have expected to find a few more, maybe 92s and 93s, but heaps of 94s, maybe they came into Tassie and we're still hanging on to them. So that section there I'll be looking through later on because I'll probably keep one or two of the large SD varieties and one of the small SD variety for each year, just my own personal set. So that's uh, this pile here is the whole blob of it is to be worked on. And this lot here is hanging on to until I find out the mintage and decide what I want to do with them. I might look through the whole lot for errors, but I had a look and there's nothing super obvious. I... I'd probably be looking for errors that are down to cuds or very slight, slight errors, which, you know, I love errors, but the bigger the better. Right, so what else did I keep? Um, oh, so I messed all my piles up. I kept a uh, 2008. And this one here had, this is just for my own personal I don't think it's worth anything more than five cents, but it does seem to have a an issue with the rim. Like the collar hasn't... Anyway, I kept that one. I don't think it's that super special, but... And I just kept a... Uh, what's that one? Uh, 2000. Yep, just because I'm trying to make up a set of 2000s. So those ones there probably still only worth five cents, but I'm going to keep them. What else did I find? Oh, yeah, so I found a couple of interesting um, coins in the five cent pile that were um, coins from other countries. I don't collect coins from other countries on purpose I tend to just get them when I get them in change this one was um, interesting I did I did look it up I had to look it up because it's not something I've seen before so there we go I've got um, just use this cloth it's Again, it's been really rainy today in Tassie, so I'm inside doing coin stuff and it's humid and wet. Um, this is 10 cent. From 2010, with the second portrait of the Sultan of Brunei. It's a Brunei coin. And I looked up the value of it. Like, it's a cool coin. It's interesting. It's something I've never seen before. Um, milled edges all the way around. Just same as an Australian five cent coin. I guess that's why it slipped through. I'll just grab one of these for reference there. So they're the same size. And they've got the same milling edge. But, yeah. So that was cool. A little bit of a world coin uh, the value of this one though uh, yeah in US dollars I looked it up um, it's like seven US 
sense. So if I was going to do anything with it, I think I'd probably lose money, but it's cool. <laughs> I could just spend it again as another five cents and get my money back. And then I got this one in the same bag. So this is a Malaysian coin, 10 cent again. And I recognize the flower straight away. It's a, it's a, it's a hibiscus. Um, and on the back, I had to educate myself. That's apparently a board game that's played in Malaysia. Interesting. But yeah, strange thing to put on a coin, I suppose. But yeah, if it's a board game or some sort of I don't know, household game that you play amongst families, it's some traditional game. I don't really know what it is, but I thought it was initially I was went, is it a raft? What is it that's on a mat? <laughs> you have a guess at them and you're like, no, nah, you come up wrong every time. But the mintage on these, because this is a circulating coin, is 133 million. So I wouldn't call them rare or special. And the dollar value on that one is, whew, I think it's about like two cents or something American, US dollar. Yeah, so probably would lose money again if I was trying to sell it unless I was just selling it again or using it in circulation as a five cent coin. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. Um, what else did I find? So I've got those two coins. Ah, oh, I found all these tuataras. The five cent coins that were from New Zealand. I did find quite an array. So I found a 1967, a 1981. I found two of the 1995. I found a 1996. I found a 1998 and a 2000 of the five cents from New Zealand. And I don't really collect foreign coins on purpose, but Turns out that they just keep throwing themselves into my noodles. So, yeah, I guess I've, I'm going to put together a set of five cent coins from New Zealand because they're kind of cool. <laughs> and it turns out that, yeah, they were demonetized and withdrawn from circulation back in, was it, 2000? and six 2006 so most of the ones most of the coins that were still in circulation in New Zealand have now been melted down and used for other things other coins whatever in this bundle I got a couple of cool ones actually I got a 1967 um, I won't go through them all. I got a 1967, which was withdrawn from circulation as well, but that was the first first year of issue for the New Zealand Tuatara 5 cent de decimal. Uh, unfortunately, I did get the common form, <laughs> but there was only a mintage of 26 million on them, and I looked up the dollar sales value, whatever, if you're planning on selling it, and that's still worth about... 20 uh, US cents, so you know, it's well worth more than 5 cents Australian. And then I've got an 81, and there was two varieties in that one, but I couldn't work out if I had the uh, the oval hole 8 or the round hole 8. <laughs> Either way, there was only 20 million of those minted, and they sell for more than 5 cents. <laughs> two of the 95 Tuatara, New Zealand, five cent coins, which I've got. They had a mintage of 40 million. Uh, they still sell for about 20, 20, 
20 US cents. I'm using US dollars and cents on this because I've just looked up a comparison page and I cannot be bothered converting at the moment, but they're more than five cents is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, the 96 Tuatara had a mintage of 19 million and the 98, which I've got, has a mintage of only 8 million and they, you know, they sell for a little bit more. The 2,000 five cent coin, uh, there was 26 million of those minted. I never really considered putting together a set of New Zealand coins until it was mentioned to me that it might be a good idea, especially since we get so many of these circulating in Australia. So why not? And they are clearly worth more than five cents. So that was cool. Got them. Uh, what else did I find in my looking through? See, I've just totally messed up all my piles. And I have no idea what's going on here. Right, I did find a 2016 changeover. Now this was cool because these have a mintage of only, oh, what do we got on those ones? 4.7 million. Very low mintage on the changeover five cent coin. So the obverse there, That's the changeover design. It's always got the old penny design. And, yep, same as the echidna on the front. So I've got one of those. I found three 1972s in $100 of coins. So 2,000 coins. I found three 1972s in varying condition and grade. But the 1972s have a mintage of only 8.25 million. So you can sell these for more than a dollar if you want to. But I'll hang on to them for, for now. Down there next to my changeover. Got three 72s. Uh, what else did I find that was interesting? Ah, oh, I found only one, just a lowly one. Just a lonely, lowly, hoping for some friends, one of the 2019 JC obverse five cent coin. These are a really low mintage, only four million. So 2019, I found one in 2000 coins and 2020, Mm. Yeah, I found more than I actually need. So either either Tassie didn't get lots of these or there are just very few of them here. There are very few of them in anywhere. Doesn't give me a lot of hope for the 2020 five cent coins I've been hanging on to, but I can always spend those. What else did I find that was cool? Um, I kept... I kept two just 2020 IRB effigy five cent coins and the mintage on the IRB effigy is pretty high. It's 25 million but it's one of those years where you've got two effigies and it might get overlooked and I thought well they're about as good as you can get so well, hang on to just two. That's going to cost me 10 cents to sit on them. A lot of people are interested in coin vandalism, and I'm, I'm, I find it interesting, and I don't support it, and I don't want anyone to do it. But these are the two best of the worst, worst coins that I've found in that bag. This one here has lost... It's super, super thin. It's lost a, a lot of its detail. Um, I think this one's been put in acid or something that's eaten away. It's really like corroded. And this one here just has been abused. You don't find a lot of five cent coins that are just squashed up and abused, but 
There you go. That one's uh, that was my worst. Now we get into the best. Right, so the best is always last. That's my style. I found two really great coins. I'm happy with everything else I've found. Like, can't complain at that. Got some good ones there to work with. This one's good. This is either a um, die fill or struck through grease, maybe. I am not sure if anyone can help me out with the technical know-how. That would be great. So the five is missing all its detail here down the bottom. And the echidna is missing all the detail off its back end. Uh, it's been, been very well circulated. So this year is a 1980. Just had to bring it up close to my eyes to read it. Okay, 1980. So it's a bit grotty, but hey, it's pretty cool. Look at that. That's an error. Love errors. And this is my best one out of out of a hundred dollars. This is my best error coin that I found. Or oh, this is the best coin I found in the whole hundred dollars. It's a broad strike. And not only is it totally off, it's a year 2000. But, yeah, if you could hold that in your hand, you would see and feel just how much of a lip is on that. It's way off. That is way, way off. So that is the best broad strike or off-centred coin I've ever found myself. I'm happy with that, and I'm definitely going to put that one in my keepers folder. Uh, I guess a rough monetary breakdown because I'm about to wrap up is I wouldn't part with that one there for any less than forty-five or fifty dollars. I think that's based on what they're selling for online. I think that's a, a reasonable ask, and it's also not for sale. This one here, probably five. Changeover coins, about a dollar. The 72s, I've got three of them. They're about a dollar. Uh, 2019, another dollar again. So even if I just keep those ones there and say I want $50 for those, that's out of $100 worth of coins. And yeah, it took me... Roughly mm, eight hours, I'd say, to do these. So this definitely isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, which uh, I feel like a few people think it may be. It's not. It's because you genuinely enjoy hunting for coins that are fun and interesting and one day I'm sure these coins here might be worth something these ones here may be worth more than five cents each who knows that's the fun but it's about the hobby more than anything else and I hope this has inspired other people to go and pick up some five cent coins go and get an unsorted bag it will cost you a hundred dollars from the bank and Overall, I think today I've kept, like, excluding those ones that I'm going to look through for SDs, and I'm probably only going to keep one or two of each of them. Overall, I've kept a um, dollar, one dollar, <laughs> one dollar worth and of five cent coins. And, yeah, as I was saying to you before, some of my best ones that I've found are not for sale but worth well more than a dollar so work out what you want to do with your hobby and just keep following it because you like it and you enjoy the fun and a bit of a statistical breakdown doesn't doesn't hurt it's always nice to see what people are finding yeah so yeah if that if my 20 
20, 25 cent coins are coming in at one in 25. Statistically, you know, 3.95%. Mm, they might be high mintage, they might not. It's just what's happening here in Tassie at the moment. And uh, yeah, happy noodling everyone. Keep making notes and keep doing, keep doing what you love. Do what you love and then it's not a chore and you'll find something amazing. Catch you next time.